If you like wine, then you probably like the research that shows a positive link for our health. If you drink it in moderation, it can be good for our hearts and also help prevent foodborne illnesses. That's right, but now studies show wine, red in particular, has anti-inflammatory benefits for problems like arthritis. Here's another reason to like and drink wine if you have arthritis. There's a big tasting coming up that's going to help support more research and care for people fighting this illness. Molly Breitbach is with the Arthritis Foundation with more. Good to have you here. Yeah, thank you for having me. Great name. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah go there. It's true, though. I think ev everybody's looking for a reason to enjoy red wine. And we've heard of, you know, resveratrol and it and just being so good for us in so many different ways. Is that what the property in red wine is that helps arthritis? Or what yeah, is it about? Yeah, um, it? it is the same property mm -hmm. and it decreases inflammation inflammation in your joints and of course you have to do it in moderation so what is they, moderation is that like one glass two one glasses? glass okay. one <laughs> glass a day and mm -hmm. then um but a lot of times with people with arthritis they, especially rheumatoid arthritis their medications mm -hmm. you they're not allowed to drink so if you are on medications make sure you always talk to your doctor before you good word drink. of caution do you, Sorry, do you yeah. know if you can take the resveratrol pills if you have arthritis? Or you I, don't know? I don't know on okay. that. Okay. Well, it is important probably to note on the moderation mm -hmm. thing that uh, I believe drinking it to excess can have the opposite effect yes. for, in, in terms of inflammation. But it, it's really good to know that because I think, um, you know, people want that information. If you like a glass of wine, it's, it's great to know that there are some positive aspects to it. How many people are affected here in our state and, and in the country by arthritis? Because you have a sister. Yes. Right, who has arthritis and she's only 40. Yes, so arthritis affects one in five adults and in the United States that's 53 million people. And then it also affects 300,000 kids. So that's one in 250 kids. In Wisconsin alone, we have 1.1 million adults and 6,000 kids. Wow, your sister was diagnosed at the age of eight. Yes. Right? Yes. yes. So I didn't realize that, that this can be an autoimmune disorder as well in terms of affecting children, but there's two different kinds of arthritis. Can you kind of break them down? Yeah, so there's rheumatoid arthritis, which is an autoimmune disorder, and then there's osteoarthritis, and that's what people think about most, yes. is, and that's the natural wear and tear of your joints and with getting older. Mm -hmm. um, but with rheumatoid arthritis, you can get diagnosed as young as six months. Wow, that is so amazing. So w what does the Arthritis Foundation do in terms of of you know helping those with either the autoimmune disorder or even the you know the wear and tear yeah of so the arthritis foundation we just rebranded mm -hmm. and we are now saying we're the champions of yes because a lot of times when people have arthritis they hear a lot of no's knows that they can't do things because you know you can't pick up your kids you can't bend down um, that's just part of the disease and so we're here to be a champion of yes and help give resources to help those people who are affected mm -hmm. and um, three areas that we're very focused on right now is advocacy so helping pass bills to make medicines more easily accessible for mm -hmm. patients because you know sometimes you get diagnosed and it takes about a month for the insurance company to even say it's okay so yeah. they're living in pain for a month so what we're trying to do is get those bills passed so that they have better access to their medications mm -hmm. and then we also are focusing on juvenile arthritis mm -hmm. um, because it has as the years have gone by more and more children are being diagnosed um, so we're trying to put a focus on that and it's hard for the kids you know, they can't play sports, they can't run around, and the kids are scared to even say that they have arthritis because when you say arthritis, you think of old people. Right, and, exactly. you know, they don't want to be lumped in with that, so they're even scared to even talk about it. Mm -hmm. And the hard thing with arthritis is and it's an invisible disease. So they don't really understand. Like, if you tell someone, oh, I'm sick, they don't yeah. see it. Um, right. So... 
You have a great event tomorrow night. People can still get tickets and go? Yes. So our main tasting is still open. It's from 7 to 10. Tickets are $120. And tasting it, as in wine, right? Yes. yes. Uh, over 200. Get your resveratrol. <laughs> <laughs> I think I said it wrong. But no, that's it. There. Oh. Get your reservation for resveratrol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there's over 200 different types of wine that you can come and taste and have fun. And there's some food and a silent auction and all the money go is going towards helping find a cure for uh -huh. arthritis. That's great. Are all Wonderful. the wines then red wines or are you doing a wide array of different types of it's wines? It's a wide array. Okay. Yeah, and we do have some beer. Uh -huh. So <laughs> if you're not a wine drinker, you you're can have some have beer. <laughs> yeah. They got you covered. I like that. A world of wine awaits you. This event is happening tomorrow night. Tickets still available for the event from 7 to 10. It's the International Wine T Tasting Benefiting the Arthritis Foundation. It is at the Pfister Hotel, the lovely and historic Pfister Hotel. And you can go to arthritis.org to find out more. Great to see you, Thanks, Molly. Molly. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it.